finally kicked off the 2024 flying season with an exciting breakfast fly-up. An invite from some local pilots to meet for breakfast had me soaring through clear skies in my pacer to Winfield Airport just southwest of Racine. Uh, Winfield Airport. It's a nice little private strip uh, in southern or southeastern Wisconsin. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I got a call or I got a text from uh, John. He's one of our uh, young youth pilots with me over at our EAA chapter. He's going to go out and grab some food uh, for breakfast with with Tom. Uh, Tom is up, uh, or you probably better know him as uh, Bushcat Tom. Uh, but he's got a bush cat, of course, and uh, John's got a kit box that he built. Uh, so we're gonna go grab some breakfast at one of the uh, one of the nicest grass strips in Wisconsin called Palmyra. John's gonna go ahead and go first, and uh, bush cat Tom, and we will go after that. Number three's up. Get ready to switch over finger. Switching the finger. Off the fingers. Okay, we're on. Are you hearing me? I got you. Rose-colored glasses 
After shutting down, it was a short walk to the Edge of Town Cafe. The aroma of sizzling bacon and fluffy pancakes filled the air around us. The menu had plenty of options, but my craving for biscuits and gravy won out. Sharing stories and laughs with fellow pilots over a delicious meal made the breakfast all the more enjoyable. After we fueled up on a delicious breakfast and lively conversation about airplanes, of course, we strolled back to the airport. Eager to hear more about John and Tom's airplanes, we wasted no time diving into a conversation about their pride and joy. So this is our, uh, our Kit Fox Model 7 Super Sport. Um, we got it done in 2021. Um, so far we've got about 250 hours on it. Um, just some things about it, we've got the Rotax 912 IS Sport, um, eight and a half by six tires in the front, uh, TK1 tailwheel in the back, we did Ortex fabric on it. So the Ortex actually comes this color. Um, one thing to note is that the um, the cowl and stuff, it's fiberglass. That is actually just red cherry Rust-Oleum to match. I was, uh, just found out that that matches. It's not like the fiberglass is gonna rust anytime soon. So. Plus if it gets dinged up, I'm just spraying our coat on. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a fun little airplane. It's really responsive it lands super short it takes off pretty short too um gonna be happier with it sweet thanks man let's get some exterior shots right, whenever you are ready so what do you want to know how awesome this airplane is how amazing <laughs> this airplane is how much better this airplane is <laughs> hi everybody bush cat tom this is my this is my bush cat it is a Skyreach bush cat, as if there's any other. It is uh, my dream come true. I've been flying it now for about four years. Love everything about it. It is a stole machine. It is very roomy inside the cockpit. And uh, my wife and I just take this thing everywhere we go. Well, not everywhere we go, but everywhere we're able to go with an airplane. And uh, I would encourage everybody to do the same. If you like airplanes, you like aviation, you need to get yourself a pilot's license and go buy yourself one of these more affordable airplanes and then start enjoying what we're enjoying, which is taking to the skies and and uh, and, and coming home safe and sound. That's a very important. Any other questions you have for me? No, just to talk about your YouTube channel. Oh, my YouTube channel. Yes, I have one called Bushcat Tom. Go check it out um, and be nice on the comments. Uh, my co-pilot is a pink flamingo. It's not what you think. Well, maybe it is. But, uh, yeah, you'll enjoy it. And maybe your kids will enjoy it, too. But the important thing is to go get your airplane. Just go get your airplane. Get one of these. Like all good adventures, ours eventually reached its endpoint. We wished each other clear skies and tailwinds on the flights back home. The first flight of the year is usually filled with cobwebs and a list of things to improve, but this one had more to it. This first flight of the year left me with a sense of exhilaration that lingered long after landing. It wasn't just the smooth maneuvers and breathtaking views, it was the camaraderie forged with fellow pilots and the shared passion for aviation. Adventures don't always have to be to faraway places. Sometimes the best ones are right in your own backyard.